Welcome back to another video, my friends. My name is Bijan T, and in this video, we're going to be going over a trade that I did in which I made about $2,000 in two days. I pretty much placed the trade on Monday, let the trade sit, didn't really bother with it, and then Wednesday, I closed it out for a $2,000 profit. I know I mentioned in my previous videos that I was going to be a little tied up and busy these coming months. I was out of town all of last week, pretty much, and half of this week. I just got back yesterday. Um, so I know I mentioned I wouldn't be making as much YouTube videos and I would probably start doing some more swing trades here and there So that's exactly what happened. So I actually wasn't even gonna make a video on this trade It's just somebody on Twitter was like man. I miss your videos. And I'm like, well, I'm at home right now I'm not really doing much. Let me make a video for them. So let's just jump right into it here Alrighty, so we are looking at this QQQ here Now let me I'm gonna have to Let me actually just go show you guys the orders first. How about that? Keep things real simple. So, I got into this trade on Monday, 5.13, at 11.10 a.m. I had 10 contracts. The, the way options works, one is equivalent to 100. So, it shows that I got 10 contracts. I had calls. Calls means you make money when the stock goes up. And if you notice, my expiration date is for May 31st. I mean, it's barely May 16th today. I closed the trade out May 15th. So, I had plenty of time on it. So anyways, back to this idea. I was trading calls. Calls means you make money when the stock goes up. One is equivalent to 100. So if it shows 379, it's actually actually 379. So I had 10 of them. 10 times 379 is $3,790. So if you had basically $3,790, let's say if you had you know $3,800, you as well could have been able to place this trade. You could have, you know, like I say, make your money work for you. You could have placed the trade, let it sit, don't even look at it for two days, and you would have made $2,000. I mean, shoot, if you let it sit for another extra day, a third day, you would have been probably at like a four or $5,000 profit even, but we don't worry about that. We have our plan. We stick to our plan. We take our profit when we expect to take our profits. We don't get greedy, and we move on from there, and that's exactly what I did with this trade. So the trade cost $3,790, and I closed the trade out literally just about two days later, 48 hours later pretty much. I got an 11.10, closed it out at like 11.25 on the 15th which was Wednesday. So in on Monday, out on Wednesday. This also just goes to show you guys that if you don't have the time to be day trading or being in front of the computer every morning or every day, you don't have to, you know, you can still make money by swing trading. There's various multiple things that you can do in the market, guys. It's, it's, it's a blessing or it could be a curse if you jump in without knowing what you're doing. So anyways, before I start rambling there, let me just jump in and show you guys on the chart here. So it was calls. Calls means you make money when the stock goes up. Again, it wasn't a day trade or anything like that. You can let it sit. We did this trade with less than $3,800. So if you think you need a lot of money to trade stocks, you don't. That's not true if you've been told that before. So let's go jump in now. Oh, actually, let me let me bring it back. Let me bring it back. Let me finish up the pricing. So I sold five of them. So here's the idea. My plan, I have two exit points. I usually get out of a primary profit target and then a secondary profit target. So I closed out half of the profit because it hit my primary profit target. So then I was holding half of the position, the other five, and I was going to hold it to my second profit target, but then I was kind of looking at the chart and I'm like, ah, you know what? It doesn't look like it's going to go much higher today. So I closed it all out and obviously, you know, it would have been a better situation if, you know, I held it, but you know, that wasn't my plan. It was partially my plan, but I'm not going to get mad about it. So I closed it out. We'll just say 578 because 577, 578, it's only a dollar difference. It's going to be $5. So we're going to keep things real simple. I was in at 379 and then I was out at 578. Let's just say 579 for the sake of simplicity. So 379 to 579. That would be a $200 profit on each. 379 to 579 would be 200. I had 10 contracts, so 200 times 10, that's a $2,000 profit. Or you can just look at it at the simple idea of saying, okay, 379 times 10, that's 3,790. And then 578 times 10 is 5,780. Subtract the math there. That's $1,990 there. We'll just round it up to $2,000 profit just for the sake of simplicity here. So it was a $2,000 profit over the course of two days. I didn't even look at it. I literally just placed the trade, set my alerts, and that was that. So let's jump into it here now. This is the QQQ. I even had this on... Uh, the watch list too, but it was for spy that I was watching. They're both the same thing, literally. Um, yeah, look at them. You know, this guy went down, bottomed out, bounced. The guy went down, bottomed out. But it's the same thing. So don't panic in case you're subscribed to the watch list saying, hey, wait, I didn't see that guy on the watch list. Hey, it's okay. You did. He was just on a different name, you know? 
Um, so that, that's, that's anyways, that's that. Um, let's go in now and give you guys the breakdown. So this is where I got into the trade. Right here, I'm not going to say I called the exact bottom because I didn't, I could have gotten in a little bit lower, but obviously, you know, that, that's besides the fact. I got in right at the 179 area. So I got in at 179 and my primary profit target was 183.50. My secondary profit target was 185. And I had my risk on 177 so if it went below 177 i would have gotten out for a small loss you get what i'm saying just because we put 3790 into the trade doesn't mean we're going to lose 3790 if we're wrong you have a plan you stick to your plan and that's pretty much that this was a swing trade even like i said i have plenty of time on the expiration i was even willing to hold it until friday maybe monday if needed but obviously you know he made its move quicker than that so i didn't need to so let's just finish this up here before i start rambling guys so i got in here on monday Took my profit right here. I called the top yesterday. I'm going to give myself that credit. So let me break it down here now. This is the trade. Right here at the 11.10. Wait, did I get an 11.10? Yeah, 11.10. Right there, 11.10 is where I got in at. Right here, a little bit below the 179 area. So like 178.75. We'll just say 179 for the sake of simplicity. I had a $2 risk. It was a little bit less than two dollars. It was more like a dollar seventy-five risk for a four dollar and fifty cent primary profit target and a six dollar secondary profit target. If I held it to the one eighty-five, so notice the risk to reward ratios. I'm always only taking trades in which I am risking less than I will win. People always say, well, how do you know which, how much to get into the trade with? How much this? How much? I don't, I don't know. People are like, how much, how do you know how much you're going to make? I don't care about how much I, I'm going to make. I actually care about what I'm going to lose. That's all I look at my trades with is what am I going to lose based on what I can lose? Oh, I'm going to get in here and I'm going to get out here. So if I get out here and I'm only willing to lose this much money, how many contracts do I need? How many shares do I need? Things like that. So anyways, that, that's besides the fact. So this is where I got into the trade. I had calls. Calls means you make money as the stock goes up. So as the value of the stock increased the value of my call increased. Now, if you were trading shares, you would have needed about $60,000 minimum to place this trade and make a $2,000 profit. Minimum. Minimum. That's if you're trading shares. Actually, 90,000, I think, not 60, 90. Because if you got in at $180 and it went up $4, you needed to have 500 shares. Or no, you would have needed 2,000 shares, actually. No, 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 500 shares. I was mistaken. You didn't need 500 shares to make a $2,000 profit off of that $4 move. So 500 shares of something worth a 180, well, 180,000 would be 1,000 shares. So 180 divided by 2, that's 90. My laptop battery is dying here, guys. I got to get this thing on the road. I got I to gotta finish this up here for you guys. I'll wrap it up. So I got in here. And I took my profit up there. Now, let me show you guys my exit. We'll go, yeah, five days, one minute is fine. Here we go. And here's my exit. So the way I trade, I wasn't even sitting here watching it. I just placed an alert and I said, hey, send me a notification to my phone whenever we hit 183.50. So boom, bing, it sent me my not notification. I pulled out my phone right away. I wasn't even at home. Pulled out my phone, closed out half of the trade, and that was that. That's why it's in two different orders. Because that was it. Boom, take your profit, no questions asked. We're at the level that I need to get out at. Then I kind of took a second, watched the chart a little bit, and I said, all right, what's he doing here? This is where I initially got out, the 23. And then the 25 is where I closed out the rest. And I said, ah, oh, no, 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 that's it. We hit the high for the day. How did I know? Through my knowledge, guys, you learn. You have strategies. If you want to learn, I teach all this stuff in my course. But my course is about 12 hours long. We'd be here for 12 hours if I were to teach you all that here in a YouTube video, it doesn't make sense. And it's not fair to the people that already took my course. But anyways, that, that's besides the fact is there's things that I read, things that I know, strategies I use that tell me, hey, this might not be going up anymore. Hey, this might start going down. Hey, this might reverse. Ah, da, 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 da. You guys get my point. All right. So, so on and so forth. That's why I closed out the other five. Otherwise, I was going to hold the other five even until Friday. I was willing to even Monday for it to hit 185. Now, look at what it did today. He hit 185. The computer's acting a little slow because of the battery running low. 
Um, but it, you know what? Let me see if I can find my a walk and talk to you guys. So he hit 186 today. So if I obviously, I guess I wasn't as disciplined as I always say. I always say, you know, stay disciplined. Don't get greedy. Don't say, oh, I want more profit. Don't say, oh no, I'm scared that it's not going to go to the point that I want it at. No, no, no. Stick to your plan. And while I did partially stick to my plan, I guess the other half I didn't stick to. Um, that's besides the fact I still stuck to my plan. I'm giving myself that kind of a credit. Um, but anyways, anyways, before I get all sidetracked here, guys, I know I'm going to start rambling. He hit 186 today. If I close the trade out right now, let's say I got in on Monday and I didn't close any of it out until right now. I just held it one extra day. I would have gotten in at three, let's just say 3,800 and it would have sold for, right now it's selling for 670. I sold it for 570. So if I was holding it just one more day, it would have been an extra $1,000 profit. But what it could have, should have. We don't worry about that. My plan was, hey, once it hits 183.50, get out. And that's exactly what I did. Now imagine, there is always that chance that it could have continued to go back down. And that is why we have our plan. Now imagine, even if I got in over here, closed out half of it right here, and even if it went all the way back down to here, I would have still been making money. Because I locked in half of the profit. See what I'm saying, guys? So that's why you always take your profits. Respect your plan. And that's that. So anyways, guys, about a $2,000 profit over the course of two days here. Like I said, if you were trading shares, you wouldn't need like $90,000 to do this. So no, look, you go trade options. You learn, obviously. And you know what you're doing. Made $2,000 using less than even $4,000. So that's more than a 50% return if you think about it. So anyways, guys, I know this is the part where I start to ramble. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the thumbs up if you did. Subscribe so that you can see all my other future videos. I still got a lot of stuff going on this month and next month. A few trips planned and all that. So I might not be on top of my videos here as much. But I just wanted to give a little something something for you guys. Just to kind of check in and say how you doing. So anyways, we'll wrap it up here, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter. I'm on all of them. Who's me, John T? Go follow me there. Make sure you visit our website. The link is in the description below if you want to learn how to trade or really dive into this stuff. And I will talk to you guys soon.